Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog SensibleMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another what I bought in a week video. And today is Tuesday and I'm gonna be showing you everything that I bought from today, Tuesday, until next Monday. So you'll get a full seven days. And today we went to Costco. We spent a total of $236. But part of that um, is was um, my was my daughter's portion. She bought herself some new Apple AirPods, and she already took them up to her room. And our portion was probably around ninety five dollars. So um, I did a little math, and I think that's around how much we ended up spending for everything that you see here. So yeah, she took her earbuds, her AirPods, or whatever they're called upstairs her she had some earbuds and they were the kind that you plug in and one side stopped working unfortunately so she decided uh, for the new pair that just to go with the Apple AirPods so anyway for our portion we picked up some romaine lettuce and we'll be using some of this today probably for tostadas just some bean tostadas with uh, lettuce tomato uh, maybe some cabbage and whatever else we decide to top them with. Then we also picked up some Scott toilet paper because we like this brand. This is our favorite brand. Then we bought some sugar because I am running really low on sugar in the pantry. And while I don't use sugar a ton, I am still going to be using it. I know a lot of plant-based people are salt, oil, and sugar free these days. We're not going that far. Uh, we're still going to be using some sugar here and there, not a whole lot. I am using dates to sweeten um, recipes now and just learning how to use dates more. So that's been kind of interesting. And uh, you'll probably see some dates in my haul in the near future. We've just got some in the fridge right now that I'm trying to use up before I buy any more. I saw today at Costco, they, they do have, I think they're organic medjool dates and I probably will buy some of those in the future once we use up the ones that we have in our refrigerator now. And then we also picked up some hand sanitizing wipes. We don't normally buy these and I wasn't planning on getting these today, but they were originally, I think $9.99 and they were on sale for $7.99. And we're planning on taking a little vacation um, a little further down the line. And we thought that these would be good to have on hand for when we end up going on vacation. So we grabbed those today. And then I'm running low on small plates and bowls so we went ahead and just grabbed those today uh, don't worry we still have plenty of dishes if you can see right over there um, but having these on hand does help uh, cut down on the dishes that we uh, have to wash and it just makes my life so much easier and when it comes to how much time I spend in the kitchen and everything so we grabbed those today and then we also picked up some mushrooms to use in recipes and we brought home some grapes and we've also already uh, had some of the grapes i gave some to one of my boys for lunch and i'm not going to be buying these anymore unfortunately because it says that they're seedless but they're really not they're seeds in almost every grape that we ate today there there was seeds and that's a little bit unpleasant especially when um you're used to buying them that without seeds so we're not gonna buy these again but we will eat these and um i just won't buy them anymore at costco let me know if you buy grapes at costco and they sell grapes that are truly seedless uh which ones are they these are the red globe seedless grapes supposedly but they're really not um if you do buy seeds if you do buy true seedless grapes at costco let me know down in the comments below uh, the name of those grapes i'd love to know and then we also picked up some of, of these organic diced tomatoes because we're all out so we like to keep that on hand for soups and chili and stuff like that and then last of all we brought home this organic millet and brown rice ramen this is something I've never bought before, but we saw it and it looked good and it sounded good. And I thought this is something to try because uh, one of my boys really likes ramen noodles. And um, th th this is made from, these are made from millet and uh, millet and brown rice. So I'm going to see if he likes these. Uh, if not, I think I will like them. Um, but hopefully... Hopefully he likes them and uh, they end up working out. So anyway, 
This is everything that we picked up from Costco today for right around $95. Hey guys, we went to Meijer today and we spent a total of $99.39 and we found some great clearance deals and uh, so we went there to check out their clearance but also to look for some more ramen noodles for um, one, of my, one of my boys that really loves the ramen noodles um, that we get from a particular brand and unfortunately they did not have any in stock so I'm going to have to check a different Meijer because these particular ramen noodles have been a little difficult to find. But anyway, I'm super happy about what we did bring home. We picked up two of these Cuisinart stainless steel pans with a non-stick interior for only $15 each, 75% off. And I picked up two of them because they're amazing, heavy duty, really high quality. We love Cuisinart. And I told you guys that we're trying to make our cookware more plant-based cooking friendly. And so we're, we've been looking for um, uh, more stainless steel pans with a nonstick interior. We did find one on clearance a few weeks back. It was uh, just a smaller pan. I think it's probably um, like a six inch or eight inch pan, something like that, that we found on clearance. And it was also a Cuisinart, I believe, but um, nothing like this. And this was just a phenomenal deal that I was really happy to to grab today. So we got two of those for $15 each. And then we picked up some plates that were on clearance. I just love I just love grabbing these when they are marked down for birthdays or just special occasions and things. So I got a set of small plates here for only 38 cents and uh, some napkins for 75 and then some more napkins for 75 maybe we'll use these for mother's day or someone's birthday or something like that and then we also picked up this crock pot stone bake pan it was on clearance for only four dollars and 29 cents another it's another high quality piece for our kitchen and i'm so happy to have it we can make some delicious dishes in here or desserts and i'm just really happy to have that for our kitchen and then we also picked up some candles because I'm down to one candle for burning here in, I usually burn them um, here in the kitchen. And we don't love the smell of it. The one that we've got right now, it um, it's very flowery and it's a little bit strong. So I'm still going to use it here and there, but I definitely wanted to, um, to, to to bring home another candle because our favorite candle the one that we would burn regularly it, it it lasted us a long time but it was eventually ready to go into the garbage and so we started burning the new candle that we had forever waiting in the wings and it just it's just a little strong so i was glad to find these today these two yankee candles we picked up a cinnamon stick one and it smells just like a cinnamon stick and then we picked up this mango peach salsa candle which smells delightful as well and then I also grabbed this because it was only two dollars and I thought I can use this for decor I can pop a picture in there or I can use it to uh, hang my menu for the week because I am meal planning again I I was not really a meal planner um, until I switched back to being plant-based for the most part because um, I, I, I started meal planning all over again because I felt like I needed to. I didn't, I couldn't really fly by the seat of my pants right now since we are, we're a whole family and we're trying to eat healthier and I really needed to just plan my meals out again. So I've been doing that very consistently and so I can put my menu plan in here or I can even pop my grocery list in there. I do make grocery lists all the time, every single week, so I could, I could pop those in there. So or like I said, just a picture and use it for decor. So it was only $2, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And then this was only $1.25 and I need some more kitchen towels. So we went ahead and picked this up since it was 75% off. And then we found a heater and it was 50% off. So I think this heater was $22.49 and it's a good brand. It's a Lasco brand heater. We've had Lasco in the past. And we are always 
uh, up for picking up new heaters that are marked down because uh, we love using heaters in our bedroom, in the living areas. Sometimes I even take one of our little portable heaters and I'll plug it in in the bathroom when I'm getting ready in the morning and they're just fantastic to have. We did have one die this year though. It didn't last us very long. It was an off-brand heater and it did not even last us one season. It died and uh, I learned my lesson. So um, we're gonna go with name brand and uh, this Lasco one will hopefully last us a lot longer than that last one did. And then last of all, actually not last of all, but because I have something else to show you after this, um, we picked up these uh, non-vegan, of course, um, macaroni and cheese. Uh, Annie's macaroni and cheese for my daughter Elizabeth. She was talking about how much she wanted some macaroni and cheese. And this is her favorite kind. She loves the shells. So we went ahead and just picked up two boxes. And I saw today when I grabbed these that they actually have Annie's shells and vegan cheese. I think it was something like that. And it said that it was plant-based. I'd never seen that before, but we decided just to go with our with, with the kind that we know. And I know that the kind that Elizabeth likes for right now, maybe we'll try that other version out in the future. I'm definitely open to that. And then last of all, we picked up two of these Power Ranger swords that were on clearance for my kids. They were only $5 and my kids just love playing with swords. They uh, will use them until they are just really beat up and we'll even fix them and like hot glue them, repair them, tape them, whatever. And they'll just keep on using them to death. So since these, were, since these ones were only $5 each, we went ahead and grabbed two of them for them to play with. And that is everything that we picked up at Meyer today for just under $100. Hey guys, so we just got back from Sam's Club a little bit ago and we spent around $35 for everything here. We went to pick up some more of these LED solar path lights. My husband had bought some of these about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks ago and he replaced our old ones outside with these ones from Sam's and they look really great. They are definitely better quality than our old ones and the old ones were, um, some of them went to the, straight to the garbage because they didn't even work right anymore and then the ones that do still work somewhat, they went into uh, the backyard and um, yeah, they're, 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 they're not looking the best. This will probably be the last year for our old ones but these ones are the new ones that we got from Sam's and he put them out yesterday and they look really great and um, they're lighting our pathway nicely. They're glass. They're higher quality than our old ones and we decided to go ahead and buy another box. They're $19.98 and put them on the other side of, um, of our walkway and so now we'll have both sides lit up and I think it's going to look really nice. So we went for these and then we picked up a few more things while we were there. We grabbed some more of our favorite tortilla chips. These are the salted um, El Ranchero tortilla chips. And we also decided to go ahead and pick up some unsalted because we are trying to be more mindful of how much salt we are consuming. A lot of the uh, plant-based people that we watch and that we're learning from our SOS free, salt, oil, and sugar free. We're not gonna do that completely because it's, that's just not realistic. We have cut way, 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 way down on the amount of oil that we use in cooking. We use almost no oil at all uh, for the most part, but I do still have to use a tiny bit when I make Mexican rice, but it's just, it's just a really small amount. But like when I'm making soups and pretty much any other dish, I'm not using oil. But um, uh, yeah, uh, that's that on the oil. And then the sugar, I've cut way down on that. And we're not gonna completely clean that out of our life in every single way, because I will still use it in some desserts here and there. And then um, salt, we're just trying to be, we're just trying to be more mindful and just trying to cut back on it. And um, so that's why we picked up some unsalted chips and we're gonna see how we like those. And then we also picked up some more tortillas because I'm running very low and they have the best price on these tortillas at Sam's Club. So I grabbed three packs and we picked up, we picked up some more of 
this French bread from Sam's that we really love. And then last of all, we picked up some bell peppers and I'm gonna use some of these to make Mexican rice later. And then the others will probably be used in either salad or in um, soup or some other recipes or something like that. So this is what I brought home from Sam's Club for right around $35. Hi guys, we went to Menards and spent $35.17 and we'll get 11% back in a rebate as well. And we picked up this cord cover kit to hide a cord in our home. And we've got one specific cord that we are needing to hide. And then we can, because it's a kit and it comes with extra pieces, we can use it um, to hide any other cords we'd like to hide as well. And then we also picked up some more Barkeeper's Friend because I'm running low. And so I wanted to get some more of that while we were there. And then last of all, we picked up a bunch of um, tomatoes, a bunch of seeds. So we picked up some tomatoes and we picked up some onion seeds, some uh, tomatillos, some sweet peppers, some more green onions over there and some hot peppers. So we already have a lot of seeds in our refrigerator. That's where we store them for the most part. And then we've got, um, we've got some ideas on things we wanna grow this year that are different from what we grew last year. Like last year we didn't grow any tomatillos and so we definitely wanna grow those this year. And then we wanted to grow some more varieties of hot peppers and so we went ahead and um and grabbed some hot peppers and then we we decided to go ahead and get the sweet peppers too and um we can use those in different dishes and then we love these small uh little i think they're like called sweetie tomatoes or something like that that we that we've been growing the last couple of years and they they grow so well but we didn't love the other variety of tomatoes the other varieties i think we probably had at least two other varieties growing last year we didn't love them so we want to try some roma tomatoes this year which is why we picked up two different varieties of those and so this is what we brought home from menards for a little over 35 dollars. and like i said my husband's going to do the 11 percent rebate and we'll get a little bit of money back there. And then the other day I also placed an order on Kohl's.com for some new towels and a shirt for one of my boys and um, some socks for uh, the guys in our home. And then I also got a cardigan for myself. And so the order is gonna kind of come in a few different shipments it looks like. So the cardigan came today and it was $19.99 and I'm pretty sure we I paid less than that after our coupon code and Kohl's cash so this is probably somewhere around I think probably somewhere around $16 but anyway so I went ahead and grabbed a new cardigan this is one that Kohl's has carried in stock for a very long time it's their apartment 9 cardigan I already have probably three of these but two of them are they're faded and older and i just needed a newer one so i went ahead and picked this up for myself and it came today in the mail hey guys so we just got back from trader joe's where we spent 36 dollars 26 and here is what we picked up so we brought home two jars of this fire roasted tomato salsa because we ended up really liking it when we mix it with the regular trader joe's salsa we did not buy this one today we still have some of this um, we probably have two full jars that we have not even opened up yet so we didn't need to buy any more of this but what we do i just brought it out because i wanted to show you guys that what we do is we just mix the the fire roasted salsa with some of this salsa and it's delicious so we picked up two more jars of the fire roasted today and then we also grabbed a bag of artichoke hearts we've never tried these before from trader joe's but one of the plant-based youtubers that we've been watching really likes them so we're going to go ahead and give these a try and then we also picked up a bag of their very cherry berry blend because i'm going to be making a plant-based berry cobbler it's going to be like a healthy berry cobbler and it sounds really good so 
I decided to go ahead and grab this. I was gonna get the mixed berries from either Costco or Sam's Club. I was gonna look there to, to see if I could get maybe a big bag, but since we were at Trader Joe's, I decided just to go ahead and grab this bag today. And then we picked up two cups of this instant ramen soup. This is the uh, miso kind, and it is vegan, and I've grabbed this today for my son Isaac, who really loves ramen, so I hope that he likes this. I'm not going to buy it a whole a whole lot because it was $1.49, I think, for each one of these cups of soup. This one down here is the spicy miso. This one's going to be for my husband, and I just think $1.49 is kind of a lot for a cup of soup, so I probably won't be buying this very often, but uh, since we were there... And since we'd never tried these before, we decided to go ahead and pick them up today. And then we also picked up some of this unsweetened applesauce because I've been using applesauce as an egg substitute. So, for example, today I made French toast and hash browns for lunch. And instead of eggs, two eggs, I used unsweetened applesauce. And they turn out so delicious. I've already made French toast many times um, since we switched over our diet to a mostly whole foods plant-based diet and they've they've just been really great with the applesauce substitute and then like I said I made french toast and hash browns today for lunch and we finished off the last of our dairy whipped cream so we decided to go ahead and pick up this coconut whipped cream today at Trader Joe's and we're gonna see how we like it um, I, I told myself I wasn't going to look for a substitute right away because I figured that it was probably going to be hard to find a good substitute um, for the dairy version of whipped cream that wasn't really expensive. But this was $3.29 and while that's not really super cheap, it's, it's not horrible. So I decided to just go ahead and, and buy this and we'll see how we like it. And then last of all, we picked up a lot of hash browns because my kids really love these. So we picked up five packs of these hash browns right here, these hash brown patties. And then we picked up four bags of shredded hash browns. So this is everything that we brought home today from Trader Joe's. Hey guys, so we went to Meyer and spent $12.01 and here is what we brought home. I actually, I actually went yesterday, but I got home a little late. It was after five o'clock and I needed to get dinner started. So I'm filming this the next day and I don't have everything anymore that I actually bought but I have pretty much everything here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we brought home. We picked up a picture album for only $3.25 uh, because I've got a lot of pictures that do need to go into an album and this one was the right price. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I also picked up some grapes. We've been going through a lot of grapes lately and some of these are already gone because we had some yesterday. I, um, I gave some to my son Isaac yesterday along with his dinner. He absolutely loves grapes. So um, this is what's left. And then I really went to Meyer partly because I wanted to find the soy sauce ramen noodles that are of the from the Nissan brand I'm not sure if I'm saying that right and the only place that we've found those new ramen noodles is at Meyer, but they didn't have any in stock they only had this kind and so these actually in the flavor in the seasoning packet there is um, some beef in there and so I'm not using the seasoning packet I'm just using the ramen noodles and I only picked up two since we couldn't find the kind that I wanted and so we're still going to have to continue to look for that and I don't know I don't know maybe they don't get them in stock very often and so we'll just have to be on the lookout for that um, going forward and then we also picked up some lettuce and some tomatoes for various dishes and salad and whatever we use those for. And then we picked up a five pound bag of potatoes, but this is all that is left. 
because I am actually, actually, I ended up using a bunch of the potatoes for dinner. And so this is everything that we brought home from Meyer for just over $12. Hey guys, so my husband needed to make some change, so we stopped off at Butera really quickly and picked up a jicama and a pack of tortillas and spent $2.77. Hey guys, so we went to Menards and spent $46.36 on some potting soil. We picked up a big bag of this Schultz Premium Potting Soil and then we picked up two bags of garden soil and then the bags that you see down here are the ones that I had shown you guys in a previous video from I think we got those ones from Costco so those were not from Menards and so we got these three top bags today and we're still wait waiting for the weather to stay nice and for the low temperatures to stay above 32 degrees before we start doing some more gardening and planting. We've got stuff, um, like I said, growing, like I said in a previous video, growing inside. We've got um, cilantro and fresh basil that we've been using, and we've got parsley, and we've got green onions, and just a lot of good things growing inside, but we wanna plant a lot more outside, and we haven't been able to do that just yet. We're in Illinois, and we're just waiting for the weather to, like I said, stay nicer and stay above freezing. And then the last couple of things that we picked up from Menards are some, were some perlite. This is uh, perlite that my husband's going to mix in with the soil and then last of all we grabbed a new floor register i liked the design on this one and it goes really well with the other registers that we already have inside of our home so this is going to be going into our downstairs bathroom hey guys so we went to walmart and we spent 37 dollars and 71 cents on everything here and we picked up two boxes of these Pepto-Bismol chewables just to have on hand since we are out. And we like to have that just in case, have that on hand just in case. And then we also picked up some of this vanilla powder. A lot of people in the plant-based world like using vanilla powder. And I decided to go ahead and grab it since it was it's probably cheaper just to buy it in the store at Walmart if your store carries it. This was $9.98, I believe. And this is um, Watkins brand, and that's a good brand. I've had, uh, I've used different spices from uh, the Watkins brand in the past, and I, I thought they were very high quality. So I went ahead and picked up the vanilla powder, and I plan on using that in future recipes and hopefully it works out. You basically use it in place of vanilla extract. And I'm still gonna use vanilla extract too. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna totally stop using that at all. And that, there's nothing wrong with using that either if you are plant-based. So you can do either, but since, like I said, since I was at Walmart and it was around 10 bucks, I decided just to go for it. And then we also picked up some pumpkin pie spice to use in recipes and some ground mustard and last of all i picked up some concealer for myself this is the l'oreal h perfect concealer and it was recommended through one of the very 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 few beauty people that i watch on youtube but um i trust her recommendations and she recommended this one so i decided to go ahead and give it a try it was right around ten dollars as well and this is what we picked up at walmart for 37 dollars and 71 cents hey guys so my husband and i went to jewel today and we spent 32 dollars and 78 cents on everything i'm going to show you and it's actually Tuesday. So I was gonna have this video go from last Tuesday and have it run until Monday, which would have been yesterday. But since I didn't end up wrapping the video up yesterday and we went to Jewel today, you're getting a little bit of bon bonus video. And so this video is actually going from Tuesday 
to Tuesday. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start right here. We picked up some grapes because you guys know I've probably already said it a few times in this video. We're going through grapes like crazy right now. So we bought some more of those and we got them for only 88 cents a pound. So that was a pretty good deal. Then we also picked up some more mandarin oranges for snacking on. And I actually needed to grab some more potatoes because I'm going to be making some Mexican soup this week. And I I actually don't have enough potatoes for that anymore. I had bought some potatoes the other day and I ended up using them to make mashed potatoes and baked potatoes, so I need more. And so I grabbed some for the Mexican soup and then I'm also gonna be making potato leek soup at the end of the week and so I need potatoes for that as well. So I grabbed another bag and I grabbed some leeks for the potato leek soup. I I think there's three right here, but and I only need two for the soup, but I'll just go ahead and use all three, no problem. Then we picked up some bananas for snacking on or to make some Yonana's nice cream. And then my husband got this for free. This is the mango pineapple flavored sparkling water. That is the Jewel brand but I probably am not going to like this very much because I've tried uh, different sparkling waters that are flavored that um, have extra ingredients and th like this one does. They've got sweeteners and things like that and I just have found that I don't like them and it's not just because we are um, trying to eat healthier or anything like that. This is this goes way back, and um, so I think I, I think I'm probably going to use this in smoothies or something else, and we'll use it up that way. Um, that's probably what that what will happen with that. But we got it for free, which was really great. And then I've been looking for ground cardamom, and have not been able to find it anywhere. But we found this one today at Jewel and it was expensive so i almost didn't buy it it was 12.99 which is really expensive for for a spice and uh, i don't usually spend that much money on spices so i went and ahead and got it though because i couldn't find it at literally anywhere else that we have looked for it and i've been looking for it for a little while now and um, i hope that i enjoy using it i've never I've never baked with cardamom or cooked with car cardamom in the past. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use this mostly for baking, but um, I'm hoping that I really enjoy it and that the flavor is, is good. If you love using cardamom in any recipes, please let me know what do you love using cardamom in, in, cardamom in down in the comments below. I would love to know. But um, yeah, a lot of the plant-based people love using it, so I decided to go ahead and grab that. And then I had a coupon for basically a free French bread. So I went ahead and grabbed two, and we'll be eating these today and probably tomorrow. And then last of all, we picked up some ramen. This is chicken flavor. I won't be using the chicken packets, but we have not been able to find the Nissan or Nissin, Nissin? I don't know, I'm not probably not saying that right. The Nissin ramen in the soy sauce flavor at all um, since we found it basically once at Meyer. Since then, we've not been able to find it at Meyer or Walmart or Jewel or anywhere that we've looked. So we just went ahead and grabbed the the uh, chicken ramen and I just won't use the um, the flavor packets when I make it. I just use liquid aminos and then I also add in a little bit of B, not B12, but it's nutritional yeast that has B12 in it. And I put a dash of that in there just to make sure that um, my son's getting his B12. And that's how I make the ramen right now and he loves it. So this is everything that we picked up today at Jewel. And that's all for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed this what I bought in a week video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that's all I've got for you today. I hope that you are doing well 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.